the psychiatric globalists have admitted, as you can see, that they, in their own words, have made a useful attack on the teaching profession, on the legal profession, on the medical profession, that they have in their sights politicians, and they've made an attack on the church, on family traditions, and indeed on the, the very core of humanity. And their goal is to control the minds and lives of humans. And the purpose of um, psychiatric screening and testing in schools throughout the world is to remove children from their parents, to drug children with chemical compounds, torture children with psychosurgery and electric shock, and to sterilise children. As specified and proposed in the Draft Mental Health Bill of 2011. We must listen to the evidence in the United States and in Australia. So to the 59 politicians in the Western Australian Lower House, I'm asking you to reject this bill, this draft 2011 bill, to protect the children of Western Australia and that the current 1996 Act requires repealing to protect adults and children to stop and abolish the practice of psychiatry in Western Australia. Psychiatry should actually go into government, that politicians should listen to psychiatrists, psychiatrists should be in every parliament and should direct and monitor political activities. Psychiatry, in little more than a century, has infiltrated society on a global scale, and not by accident. People aren't aware that in 1940, a prominent British psychiatrist, Colonel J.R. Rees, addressed the National Council on Mental Hygiene and set the agenda for psychiatry for the next 60 years. Since then, psychiatrists have been given authority in nearly every sector of our society with tragic results. We must aim to make it permeate every educational activity in our national life. Public life, politics and industry should all of them be within our sphere of influence. We have made a useful attack upon a number of professions. The two easiest of them naturally are the teaching profession and the church. The most difficult are law and medicine. Reese's colleague, psychiatrist G. Brock Chisholm, co-founder of the World Federation for Mental Health, later expanded upon psychiatry's plans. To achieve world government, it is necessary to remove from the minds of men their individualism, loyalty to family traditions, national patriotism, and religious dogmas. To implement their master plan, American psychiatrists convinced the U.S. Congress that mental illness was a national threat that only they, with vast increases in funding, could solve. And thus began massive U.S. government expenditures for psychiatric research, which have climbed from $1 million a year in 1946 to $1.4 billion today, an increase of more than 139,000%. As psychiatric influence spread across America, it also spread throughout the world. Behind crisis after world crisis, you'll find the handiwork of psychiatry. Example, Serbian psychiatrist Jovan Ruskovic, who demanded the ethnic cleansing of Croats and Muslims because of his firm belief in their racial inferiority. The result, Bosnia in the 1990s, where Ruskovic's colleague, psychiatrist Radovan Karadzic, and Prime Minister Slobodan Milosevic established Balkan concentration camps where the mass torture, rape, and murder of the innocent happened once more. One military psychiatrist explained how it was done. C'est très difficile tuer uh, millions de personnes. C'est très difficile, techniquement difficile. Les Allemands étaient bons techniciens et ils ne pouvaient pas Uh, il pouvait seulement uh, 6 millions de juifs exterminés. Il massacre, par exemple, 100 ou 200 de personnes, ou uh, viole 100 uh, uh, 
femme, euh, sans jeune fille, pour que les autres soient effrayés et chats. Alors, vous avez le terrain pire. With century-old Pavlovian conditioning, coupled with modern-day mind control techniques, psychiatrists and psychologists can turn average men, and even children, into mass murderers. You could train them to use firearms indiscriminately. You could train them to shoot people with very little feeling or thought. You could train them to use abusive and brutalizing procedures in order to obtain information with no hesitancy, with no concern. This is how terrorists are created. In the wake of 9-11, Osama bin Laden was characterized as the mastermind behind the attacks. But the acknowledged brain trust and commander of Al-Qaeda is Ayman al-Zawahiri, educated in psychology and pharmacology at the University of Cairo, and the author of the Al-Qaeda training manual on the use of coercive psychiatry. And orchestrating the terrorist bombings in Madrid, Abu Hafiza, another Al-Qaeda operative, relying on those same techniques to manipulate the minds of men. You can implant memories. Memories are potent sources of motivated behavior. If you implant enough memories of specific kinds, you can shape and change the nature of human thinking and feelings. And it was thought to be a kind of ultimate weapon because what greater weapon could there be than control of the human mind. You can control minds and you can move people around, particularly when you control their lives. It's easier to control their minds. When we look at, uh, at psychiatry and psychology, social control is the primary agenda. And that agenda is being put in place throughout the world right now, using mental health screening campaigns fed to the public under such innocuous sounding names as teen screens. The national government is actually encouraging it and wanting to test every single kid in our public school system. All children are put under this kind of a test for psychiatric evaluation. A 10 minute test that tells them absolutely nothing. I predict that upwards of 90% of all the people screened will be diagnosed as having a psychiatric disorder, which means that we'll have an entire generation that will be a perfect profit center. The man behind the teen screen program, psychiatrist David Schaefer, consultant to the U.S. Department of Defense. They're not just uh, screening children to have complete control of the 52 million children in school. They're screening now, and that bill, they will screen uh, their parents, and they will screen all adults in America. The idea of mass screening for mental illness in the American population, run by a government initiative, is one of the scariest ideas I've ever heard of. Psychiatry is politics. Has always been politics. It is politics pure and simple, because politics, psychiatry was always the application of force against people who don't want to be forced. It's a sad thing that parents better wake up, society better wake up, because we're in serious trouble if they don't. Psychiatry's master plan to infiltrate all sectors of society is becoming a reality. We don't have an epidemic of mental illness. We have an epidemic of psychiatry. Something can and must be done about it.